God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Even if there is interruption, even if there is things going on, the Bible says, preach the gospel. If we preach the gospel that you might be saved. Preach the gospel that you might be saved. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. There is life and there is death. And life is in Jesus Christ. And death is in sin. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And when you're in a religion, you say, well, preacher, I go to church I'm a Catholic, I'm a Baptist. But they're not going to save your soul. Nowhere in God's holy word does it say go to church for salvation. Nowhere is it written baptism saved. But it is written, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's a sure. Acts 16.31. Church is a body of believers who have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Church is not a building. Church is a living organism. And in early parts of the books of Acts, they went from house to house. People are the church. And if you have never put your faith and trust in Jesus, you never called upon Jesus Christ for salvation. You're not part of the church. And if you have never called upon the name of Jesus and upon his merit alone, his work, not ours, not mine, not yours. If you have never gotten saved and believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are an outsider of the body of Christ called the church. And you can go to church all you want. But when you die, you'll go to hell. And there are plenty of people who are in hell and they went to church. And they put their faith and trust in the church. And they put their faith and trust in the pastor. And they put their faith and trust in the priest. And they put their faith and trust in something or someone. And they did not put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ, God. And as a member of a church, 
they die or will die and end up in a place called hell. That if you do not want to go to hell, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's so simple. God made salvation simple that a child could get saved. Faith and belief upon the finished work of the cross of Jesus, of the death of Jesus Christ, and the burial of Jesus Christ, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. For your sins, faith and calling upon Jesus Christ for salvation, And salvation and belief is more than a prayer. And there are many who said a prayer, but they did not say a prayer in belief and of the heart. For the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, for with the heart Man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You can lip a prayer and still go to hell. But you can put your faith and trust in Jesus alone and go to heaven. It's all by the finished work of Jesus Christ and nothing else. And even the Bible says to work out our salvation. Check your salvation. Make sure that what your salvation, your faith and belief aligns with the King James Bible and nothing to the right, and nothing to the left. That the very principle of I am going to heaven is by nothing other than the finished work of Jesus. My tithing doesn't get me to heaven. My church attendance doesn't get me to heaven. My church doesn't get me to heaven. I don't get myself to heaven. My preacher doesn't get me to heaven. Reading the Bible doesn't get me to heaven. The faith and belief in the death and burial of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. According to the scriptures, that's what's going to get me to heaven. And nothing else. If I were to ask you a question, I say, if you were to die, you will die. Where will you go when you die? And many will say, oh, I'm going to heaven. And then my second question would be, how are you getting to heaven? And if your answer is not the suffering and death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ, you're not going to heaven. You say, well, preacher, I'm good. And yet the Bible says there's none that doeth good, and your good cannot match the good of Jesus Christ. That if you're going to judge yourself, and you may be good, but what is your standard of good? And there is a Bible standard of good. And the Bible standard of good is Jesus Christ, who is God. 
So your good has to be equal to the good of Jesus Christ and exceed the goodness of Jesus Christ for your good to get you to heaven. And friend, that's not going to work. There are good people today in hell, burning in the torments of hell because their good has never matched and exceeded the greatness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. In order to go to heaven, you just do what the Bible says to do. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That plain and simple. 